Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm a bankruptcy attorney here in the Atlanta area. And today I'd like to talk to you about vehicle repossession. When are you at risk to have your car or truck repossessed uh, by a repo agent? Uh, what can you do about it and what are the warning signs? Well, first of all, in Georgia, lenders can use what is called self-help, meaning they can simply declare your loan in default if you are late, and literally that can mean one day late, two days late, and they can send a repo agent out who can pick up the vehicle. They don't have to give you any kind of notice. They don't have to go to court. They can simply uh, go out and pick the vehicle up. And the reason for that is that the legislature has decided and the courts agreed that because vehicles are inherently mobile, then lenders are at risk for having the vehicle hidden or taken out of state so they can come pick it up. This is very different from a uh, a foreclosure, for example, where you've got to get notice, there's four weeks of notice and so forth. In repossession, you can literally be one day late. Now, our experience has been that if you're dealing with a, what I would call first tier lender like GMAC or Ford, Toyota Motor Credit, something like that, you'll probably get some notice. You'll get a few phone calls, you may even get a letter, and normally until you're about four to six weeks behind, you're probably not at real risk for repossession, although again, it could happen. If you have a second tier lender, a buy here, pay here place, or some place uh, that the dealership is actually financing the vehicle, then uh, you're much more at risk for a fast repossession. I've seen it happen literally within a day or two uh, after someone being late. Now, realize if they pick your car up, you do have the right to redeem it. Uh, by Georgia law, the lender is supposed to give you a notice, something called a 10-day notice, which is supposed to be in writing, where they tell you that you, need, you have 10 days to come redeem your vehicle, otherwise it will be sold at a an auction. Um, now, most of the time, lenders are pretty good about giving this notice, but of course, I've seen situations where uh, somebody didn't get the notice, or the letter came and it was delayed in the mail, or somebody got it at the house and didn't tell the owner. So. Bottom line is if you're falling behind on your mortgage on your vehicle payment rather before you get too far behind or even before you get behind at all, it probably makes sense to make a phone call, uh, certainly to try to work something out with a lender, uh, but you also may want to talk to an attorney like me to talk about what the options are because certainly you can use Chapter 13 bankruptcy uh, as a tool to stop repossession or even after repossession uh, to get your vehicle back uh, because again Chapter 13 creates an automatic stay, it stops any creditor action. Now Chapter 13 will not help you once the vehicle is sold. So if you are at risk of the vehicle being picked up because you're late, or if your vehicle's already been picked up, uh, don't delay. Uh, pick up the phone, call an attorney, uh, call me, and see what you can do about getting this vehicle back. Um, one final point I think I need to make, and that is that lenders, when they talk to you on the phone, uh, they may tell you any number of things. Before repossession, they may say, oh, you're not at risk at all. After repossession, they may tell you, well, just, you know, as soon as you have the money, give us a call back. You need to be very, very careful about listening to what lenders or especially what repossession agents tell you. Um, I have seen many, many cases where uh, my clients have gotten incorrect information from lenders, from customer service reps, from repossession agents. Sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's simply they don't know. But don't assume that once your vehicle has been, been taken or it's at risk that you can really trust anything that the uh, lender tells you or that the repossession agent tells you because, again, I've seen many times where people get the wrong information, they wait, they delay doing anything, and by the time I get it, um, it's too late, I can't do anything. So. This is something where time is really of the essence. You want to really make an effort uh, to deal with this problem before it becomes a problem, ideally. But if your vehicle's already been picked up, then don't hesitate before talking to an attorney. And again, you're going to get the best advice from an attorney who's got your interests at heart. When you're talking to a lender or an agent of the lender, uh, they don't necessarily have your interests at heart. The information you may get uh, could be wrong. So I hope this has been helpful. If you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube or like it on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a lot of good information about personal bankruptcy in the Atlanta area. Again, I'm Jonathan Ginsberg, and I will talk to you next video.